I went to one place, the guy says, I have massive Hamas ants. The guy's spraying left and right next door. I mean, there isn't the day that he's out there using one chemical, this or that, and, and he's sick, and the whole family's sick, and the dog is sick, and everybody's sick. And of course, it, it spreads out. You can't separate it. That's, so your weakest link is always your neighbor. Whatever that guy is do, using, that's always your weakest link. Then on top of that, if you're not using any chemicals, and they're using chemicals, guess where the ants are going to go? To your place. Why should they hang out where the chemicals are at? They're going to come over here and go, ah, they can sit down, listen to the nice music, you know. See? So that's part of the problem, too. Is you, and a lot of times people say, well, let me get this straight. I'm treating the whole neighborhood. That's right. Because when you start doing this system, ants will come over to your place to eat the food that you're going to set up for them, and they'll take it back to their colony. So part of it is you have to find out what's going on your property. You have to control the watering. Ideally, you want to get some kind of filter, filtration system. So the, the, the second step is once you figure out where the ants are coming, how they're going in the house, you want to get some equipment, things that you need to work with, tools. Because you can't go to a store and buy these chemicals to spray. Uh, I don't want to mention the R word because they like to sue me a lot. Because, you know, in the United States, chemicals are safe unless proven toxic. And you can't prove them toxic. They're saying, okay, so it's in the blood. Prove that it's our chemical, first of all, that's doing that. You see, and that's the trick. You can't prove that it's their chemical because the guy says, there's one guy took him to court, I got this chemical in my blood. Oh, yeah, you got it driving around the city. You got it, and not us. Okay, so what was I? Hmm. Okay, so you want to have some tools that you can use. And one of the things you want to do is you want to get the ants out of the house because there's usually a place where people don't like it, right? You have ants in the house? All right. Okay, so you want to get them out of the house. Remember, before you get them out of the house, you want to see how they're coming in. Part of the situation that makes it confusing is a lot of times the ants are living in the house with you. Underneath the house, they're living with you. You don't see any trails, yet they're there. So that tells you. That's because, you know, you have a hot water heater, nice music, good source of food. Why not? Right? It's the perfect place for the ants to be in, you know? Um, so you want to make sure that before you drive them out that you know how they're getting in. If you don't know how they're getting in, that means they're in your house. And that's another story we'll talk about. So you want to have some tools that you can use to to control them with, you know, it will kill them, but you w basically want to get their attention, okay? So in the sixth grade, I went out and said, what can I spray that I'm cool with? Well, I, I always use this uh, Dr. Bronner soap as a kid anyway, bathe with it and brush my teeth with it. You do not want to brush your teeth with the lavender soap because you walk around going, people go, whew, you've got nice breath there. I like the peppermint. This particular one is eucalyptus. You're all going to get a free bottle of it. And this is a, a natural Castile soap. There are many different soaps on the market. You just want to use any type of natural Castile soap. Any type of natural soap will do it too. This herbal soap, you know, whatever the soap you like, are really nice as long as it's organic and clean. Ivory is not an organic soap. There are chemicals in the ivory you would not believe. Okay, um, so the Dr. Bronner's is one of them. Uh, there's another uh, uh, that you can use. See, one of the things you want to spray. Because the ants uh, leave trails. You know how they mark their trails? This way to the food, right? They're pheromones that are used to mark the trails. So uh, you ever see the movie Ants, where they're walking and the leaf falls, and they say, everybody stops, whoa, and they're in trouble because they all follow each other, see? Uh, and that ants was, was wrong, too, because they're all females. <laughs> you had guys in there, I'm going, at least could, they could have done it right, you know what I mean? And it's like they could have done it right, but so I, cause many people call me up and say, I saw the movie and you're wrong. They got ants and males and guy ants. And I go, no, they're wrong. And I try to get Disney to correct it, but it was too late. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway you want to learn things that you can spray that are, pretty, that are clean and safe. When I was in the sixth grade, I went out and bought the citrus product, which has petroleum distillates in it. And within a year, my doctor was saying, hi, your liver's on fire because the petroleum distillate is a chemical. It gets in, it's very bad, volatile, you smell it, you go, a lot of people are chemically sensitive, can't handle it. It's only been about maybe five years that I found this product, which is a natural citrus product. It probably has a top on it, yeah. Well, that was good. This is so clean that anybody chemically sensitive, at first, you know, the reason you're chemically sensitive, you can't handle any smells. Your body says, I don't want to smell. But then you go, hmm, here, smell. Don't spill it or anything, but see? Isn't that nice? No petroleum distillates in it whatsoever. And it's used as a natural cleaner. You know, you use it for cleaning things and uh, all kinds of things. But this will kill 
ants, white flies, any, any creature, because it's, it's a citrus. The reason it's a cleaner, because it dissolves 